Dozens of rockets were intercepted in northern Israel on Wednesday after a rocket fired from Lebanon, killing two people in the northern Israeli town of Kiryat Shmona. Hezbollah claimed responsibility for the strike on Kiryat Shmona, saying it targeted a gathering of enemy forces with a rocket salvo. Ophir Yehezkeli, the town's acting mayor, said the two people killed were a couple who were walking their dogs when a rocket fell near them. Hezbollah continues to fire a barrage of rockets into Israel, and the militant group's acting leader vows to keep up pressure that has forced thousands of Israelis from their homes near the Lebanese border. The Israeli military says it sent more ground troops into southern Lebanon on Tuesday, and that a senior Hezbollah commander was killed in an airstrike. Tensions between Israel and the Lebanese militant group have steadily escalated over the last 11 months. Explosions lit up the night sky of Beirut late on Monday as Israel carried out airstrikes in the Lebanese capital. The strikes happened as the world marked one year since the latest war between Israel and Hamas in Gaza began. Israel's military said fighter jets targeting Hezbollah's positions bombarded southern Lebanon with more than 120 strikes in an hour. In a possible sign of the expansion of its campaign, Israel said it would soon launch operations on Lebanon's southern coast, telling residents to stay off the beaches and the sea for a 60-kilometer stretch along the Mediterranean. Lebanon's Hezbollah, which has been firing rockets into Israel for the past year in support of its ally, Hamas, launched more than 170 across the border on Monday. Israel's strikes in Lebanon since late September have killed at least 1,400 people, including civilians, medics, and Hezbollah fighters, and 1.2 million have been driven from their homes. The Israeli military released a video on Tuesday claiming to show troops operating in southern Lebanon. The army said in a statement a reserve division has begun limited operations against Hezbollah in southwestern Lebanon in an apparent widening of its ground incursion. The military said Tuesday that the 146th Division is the first reserve division to enter Lebanon since it launched ground operations just inside the border last week. The announcement came a day after the Israeli military warned residents to evacuate from over a dozen towns and villages in southwestern Lebanon, including the coastal town of Nakura, where UN peacekeepers are headquartered. Israel has called on people to evacuate several dozen communities across southern Lebanon, many of them north of a UN-declared buffer zone established after the Israel-Hezbollah war in 2006. Israel says its operations are aimed at halting a year of Hezbollah rocket attacks so that tens of thousands of its citizens can return to their homes in the north. Hezbollah has vowed to keep up the attacks until there is a ceasefire in Gaza.